Well, folks, I am calling this done. Ancient Wisdom Blender Challenge, at least for me. The challenge is still ongoing until about mid-January. We could cut it off a little sooner than that if everybody feels done. But uh, I've got some... Uh, some commercial work to do. I've got tons of requests. I've been replying to emails, uh, helping people. And, uh, you know, I could work on this forever. I think if you have been watching me long enough, you know that I that I like to do that. And it just goes on and on. But uh, at some point, uh, I have to say, okay, that's, that's it for this one. <laughs> We're going to move on to other things, including other Blender challenges. And so this is my uh, submission. This is one of the renders. I've got six or seven renders, and I'm not sure if I'll include them all uh, for the challenge. And I thought I would uh, show you this because you've been very patient. Uh, I think this is about the 11th video, correct me if I'm wrong, in the series. So it's gone on for a while, and it's been a lot of work, but it's been uh, a lot of fun to do. I, I learned a bunch of things, and uh, I already know things that I would do different, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll move on and hopefully uh, use those... Uh, lessons in the in the next challenge all right so uh this is my museum scene for ancient wisdom and uh in this particular image you know you see the inside of the museum you know my daughter kept coming in while i was modeling this because i was inspired by uh, uncharted drake in uh, uncharted and there is a museum scene and so i relied heavily on those references and and she, uh, you know, at times she liked it, and at other times she didn't like it. And one thing she she took issue with all the time were the windows on the doors. And honestly, um, you know, I, I did that because I don't have an environment in behind them in order to make this glass transparent. I didn't want to just throw an HDRI in there. There is one in there for some lighting effects, but... I don't want to show somebody else's image in the background. I've done that before, and it looks good, but it, it doesn't look right. And, you know, to get one to fit this theme, and of course in the game, you know, there's a you know huge environment there. And so I had to do it this way, and it bugged her, and uh, she felt it was, it was too dark. And I understand that, but uh, this is what it is. It's a nighttime scene, I guess, in the museum. And uh, on the wall are some ancient symbols there are the ancient texts encyclopedia type texts they're all the same but there are a series of of ancient wisdom books and just the various components in the room i suppose there's some ancient wisdom from these uh mayan pottery as well all right so there's there's the first render uh, in this render, this one focuses on uh, the Ten Commandments here. All right, so that's ancient uh, Hebrew wisdom that uh, is also in the Christian faith and probably tenets of, uh, tenets of uh, really American uh, society. So we've got those and we've got some, some rocks also from Mount Sinai as well to go with the Ten Commandments. They're in pretty good shape, actually. Uh, back here, we'll have another view of this. This is called a menorah. It's a, it's a Jewish uh, candle holder. There are eight main candles and another one for the eight days of Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights. And the, the uh, story goes that in the temple, the Jews were there and they found... Uh, uh, some oil or whatever for, for candles, for light, and they thought it would maybe last for a day, but miraculously it lasted for eight days. So uh, Hanukkah, which is in December generally and close to Christmas, uh, is, uh, is a Jewish holiday where people give gifts and uh, say a bunch of Hebrew prayers and all of that, and they light candles. They light one candle for each night, and they light them off of this central one, in the middle and they use they light that and they use that to light the first candle on the first night and on the second night they light one candle and another one for two and so on um and of course we've got another one of those mayan pots and in behind we've got uh, a display case and we've got some of the posters on the wall so so there's that this is the display case that includes various pottery and and stuff i mean uh, it took uh knowledge and wisdom to create those um, how long ago i don't know 
thousand years ago, let's say. <laughs> They're in pretty good shape. But uh, yeah, it's just the way it goes. And uh, I had mentioned something in a vlog about making a Buddhist uh, handheld prayer wheel. And I, I made the video for that, for the modeling. I didn't for the texturing. I, I just went ahead and textured it. I haven't posted that vid video. Uh, I may do that soon. I'm not sure it's all that exciting. So we'll see if I throw that in there. But uh, that's the display case. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's that little scene there. And we just have another little corner shot that focuses on on this area of stuff. All right. So again, you know, it's a model, all modeled in Blender, all uh, you know, new things. I didn't take any assets from anywhere else. I, w I wouldn't do that. I'm textured in Substance Painter, and you saw me texture uh, a lot of this. Not everything, but but a good amount of it. And this one focuses, I guess, a bit on the scrolls. You saw me modeling and texturing that. And just to, to show the layout of the museum. I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you would need to model to fill up to fill up the room. And uh, so it, it, it took a long time to do that. And, and still the room is, is a little empty. So I had to do these shots where, uh, you know, you would just focus on a couple of things. Um, of course, I did the floor and substance designer and then in painter. Uh, so there's that, okay, focusing kind of on the display case. That was one of the first things I modeled in the series. Um, and then I used, reused that a couple of times and we did some of the other designs as well. And this is a shot sort of just down the main hallway showing the display case. This one actually has a menorah. You'll see that in the next one, the candle holder and the scrolls. and the, and. I have one more from a similar angle. The only thing I wasn't crazy about in this one is um, when I put the the, the bookshelves in there. Um, you know, we've got them going through there, and due to the uh, refraction of the glass uh, on here, uh, it looks a little bit odd. Uh, but I I had liked that angle with the you know, the the texture of the Ten Commandments here and the lights, and and going down the hallway. So that was there so I think I have one more where you can still see the books but you don't see as much of that refraction and you can see the age of the of the candle holders here uh, you know up up a little bit closer this one doesn't have the Ten Commandments there so that is what I've got now I posted just a couple of these there's a hundred percent on the discord as sort of a teaser um, and I think it might have been this one in the first one and here I'm showing all of the renders that I have done for this challenge. It looks a little bit like my scrolls are floating. Hopefully I, I have to stand in there. Uh, anyhow, if they are floating, then it's a, an ancient wisdom miracle. So that is it. That's it for the series. It's been a long series, but it's been a lot of fun to do this stuff. And uh, I'm going to be getting set to uh, do another another one of these longer series it was asked or suggested that I make the long series challenges and uh, it's a good idea I just don't want to restrict anybody to doing the, the you know what I'm doing for example uh, I have a tendency to uh, see a video game and get inspired I mean you could pick up pretty much any sort of apocalyptic uh, video game and just be blown away by the modeling and the graphics and uh, that's happened to me for three or four or five different video games and right now because my my kids are uh, really enamored well it was Crash Bandicoot and I liked that <laughs> but my kids are really enamored with uh, Uncharted right now and so I find myself peeking around the corner seeing that going man that looks cool uh, and so that's what happened really with this and that inspired the whole challenge for me and and then for you you know you would go okay so it's ancient wisdom so what what am i what are you going to do uh probably not uh uncharted or something similar to uncharted although a couple people may have done what i'm doing or something similar uh but uh, i i may want to continue with doing another kind of a scene from uncharted so to do that is a challenge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what to do, but I do have plans to do more of these uh, large series, and I also have plans to do some smaller things where it's a single object. Because doing the big scene 
is 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 difficult. It takes a long time. It really does. I mean, I uh, I start. I would have been happy with one of these display cases with the scrolls, let's say, and I would have said that that's a cool model right there. It's it's doable. Looks good. Uh, but you know, then to have to do the walls and the floor and the door and the candle holder and the posters and the lights and it just goes on and on and uh, I do have other things I need to do however I'm I I think about this day and night uh, and I'm always excited to get back to work to it but I do have to call it done at some point even though there are things that could be added to that and improved but I uh, you know I want to make one more point about what I do here on my channel well, too. First of all, I, I'm extremely grateful to you for coming and spending some of your time here. Whether you learn something, get inspired, get motivated, see a trick or see something and say, why would you do it that way? I wouldn't do it that And then you do it as opposed to not doing it at all. That's, that's my role. I want to say that for the longest time, I never called my videos tutorials and I still sort of shudder when uh, when they are referred to as tutorials because I want you to know that what I'm really doing here, the heart and soul of what I'm doing, is I am simply documenting my blender and substance painter, substance designer journey. I decided right off the bat when I first started doing this and I did stuff like crayons and baby bottles. I really started this when my daughter was born almost seven years ago. I had done blender a little bit before that. And of course, I had the experience where I had opened the blender. I'd never seen it before, and I promptly shut it right down because I had no clue uh, what it was all about. I had used Lightwave for a while and Bryce 3D before that and some other things. But my journey is just one of discovering what I can do with Blender and hopefully incrementally getting better and better at it and not making all of the same mistakes each time. So it's really not tutorials that I am doing. I am not necessarily teaching. I might be talking when I'm doing it, saying, okay, uh, I'm going to extrude now, or I'm going to add edge loops here, and uh, now we spin it this way, or whatever. But I'm not, I don't have the kind of mindset that I am some great blender teacher, uh, because it's, it's quite obvious that I'm, I'm not that. I'm just a guy who is... Uh, like I say, documenting my progress in Blender, my journey in Blender. And if it comes out and it's useful uh, and is uh, like a teachable moment, then fantastic. And I will continue to do that. So uh, those of you who are contacting me and, um, you know, uh, asking for advice about the games industry and about uh, modeling uh, in this style or that, uh, I'm not always the guy to uh, to answer those questions uh, with any great depth of of knowledge. Uh, just doing what I can, and I am very happy that some of you seem to be liking it and uh, getting ideas from it. So, yeah, I hope uh, I hope that carries on, and I hope you keep coming back, and I hope more people come too, and. Uh, you know, let's just uh, let's just do what we can and enjoy it, and uh, make some make some nice uh, some nice models and some nice images. All right. So until the next time, thank you very much for watching this. Thank you for coming to the channel and subscribing and liking my videos and leaving me cool comments and uh, inspiring me to keep going. All right.